new Switch 2 rumor just dropped, fam. And it's one of those perfect rumors because it's it's just specific enough to just feel very plausible, you know? This rumor comes from Spanish site Vandal, and uh, and as with any rumor, you want to you check their track record. It seems that they did accurately uh, predict, leak, what have you, some of the Switch OLED's features before its reveal. So they were accurate there. Of course, they might have had a hundred other pr predictions or leaks or rumors or whatever that didn't end up being accurate. I don't actually know because we never actually look it up. We just we just say, I don't know. They, they, they said this thing and that was true. So now we're talking about it. They claim to have received this information from sources at peripherals manufacturers. I take that to mean um, manufacturers creating products for the next system. And uh, they talk to them. And apparently, according to them, the Switch 2's Joy-Cons will attach to the system magnetically versus the rail system that the current Switch has. And I would say this is a fascinating idea. And, and again, it's just like, it's so specific. It's so, it just seems so feasible, you know? Uh, so plausible. But the idea of it is really great because I feel like magnetically attached Joy-Cons could just be very, um, very easy, you know, I I would say that the the more famous problem with the Switch's Joy-Cons obviously is stick drift, um, but a kind of less talked about issue is how over time the Joy-Cons, they, they stop clicking as firmly and they, they don't really uh, remain attached. And actually, I would say this is more of a problem with the Switch OLED, weirdly enough. You'd think that that would be uh, updated, but um, I personally, like, I have problems with mine. My nephew uses it in handheld more than I do, and he's probably a little bit more uh, rough on it. So the Joy-Cons, they just pop right up. You just, you just push on them a little tiny bit. Whatever little thing is supposed to keep them in place has just worn off. But I've actually heard this from other people as well. And, um, and th that's the thing is like, he doesn't even really pop off the Joy-Cons that much. And yet somehow that is just worn off. And other people have said the same thing. The Switch OLED specifically, the Joy-Cons just kind of, they just come off. Now it barely takes any pushing at all for mine to just pop right off. And it's not a huge problem. It's not as big of a problem as a stick drift or whatever, but it's still a thing. Um, you know, and there was, a, especially when the Switch first launched, there was the issues of like, uh-oh, if you put the controller grip on the wrong way, it just like gets stuck forever and it's super hard to get off. Um, so a magnetic system is a lot simpler, a lot more uh, elegant. And I would say that that sounds really great. I, that sounds really nice. I do have questions though, because in order for it to really attach to the system, I feel like those magnets would have to be um, pretty darn strong. And even if they were strong, I still feel like there's got to be something holding them in place. You know, some little thing, maybe you like manually uh, switch it to like keep them gripped on. Cause I mean like magnets are plenty strong, but like you need to be able to like pick it up with one hand without it just falling off. So there's gotta be something else there keeping them in place. Maybe it's supported by a magnet, but then you just kind of like, you stick it on with a magnet and then pop it into place just a bit rather than like the rail holding the entire thing on. It's just kind of like sliding into place like half an inch or something. Um, I could see that. And uh, and even if it is just strong magnets, I, I've always wondered, I, I guess it's probably not as much of a problem as I've always thought it was. Magnets and electronics. I know that potentially a magnet can damage electronics. I remember a super long time ago, my friends putting their stereo speakers next to their computer monitor and it like over time warped the monitor. Like it kind of screwed up the color. And, uh, and I remember them going on and on about, oh yeah, you can't put magnets next to hard drives. It'll turn all the ones into zeros. And I actually <laughs> really don't know if that's true at all. Uh, but I did, I do, I still thought that like, generally speaking, you don't want to have strong magnets next to like things like screens. And this would mean magnets right there, right on the edge of the Switch's screen. Um, but I don't know if they're doing it, then that it must just mean that that's <laughs> not as much of a problem as I always imagined it was all these years. I'm always like putting stuff in my backpack. I'm like, oh no, I can't put the, I can't put this magnet magnetic thing next to the screen. It's gonna break it. Probably not necessary, oh well. So yeah, I, I think that's a great idea. That sounds really fun. Uh, the the Joy-Cons themselves were already like just a really fun, just very, it's just very tactile. It's feely, just like sliding them on and clicking them and taking them off. And it was really cool. And uh, you know, adding a magnetic system could be kind of the next step to make the idea feel kind of cool again. Um, 
Uh, of course it is worth noting that if this is the case, then that means old Joy-Cons will not be forwards compatible with the new system. Um, and I think that makes sense. I don't think I ever, I mean, like it was always like a possibility that the new system could use the old Joy-Cons or whatever, but uh, I don't know. It didn't seem like super duper likely, especially because there are also a lot of rumors that the system will be a little bit bigger, like a little bit thicker, uh, not like Steam Deck big, but just like a little bit thicker. And I can definitely get that. Like the Switch is very thin, but like you can still absolutely, if it was even a little bit bigger, it'd still be just as easy to play handheld. You know, you're not putting it in your pocket. So like you can add some thickness on there, make a little bit of extra room for the, the more powerful hardware. Um, I think that is very, it's another rumor that's just like, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And if that's the case, then that right there is a reason why your old Joy-Cons wouldn't work on them anyway. And, uh, and we don't want to use the old Joy-Cons. I want to leave those things behind. I, w I, want, I want this new system to be fully backwards compatible, have better Joy-Cons that don't break and don't drift, and we just throw all the old ones away. Just, just chuck them in the trash, send them to recycling, leave them behind. I'd, I'd be happy with that. But even if that is the case though, uh, the rumor also says that the Switch's Pro Controller should be forward compatible. That that should work with the new system. Um, and that that also just makes sense. I don't see Nintendo wanting to change the, the button layout. Um, the only unfortunate thing there would be that would probably mean that they are not uh, not using analog triggers, which is a thing that, you know, a lot of people have really been hoping for. It was already kind of disappointing on the Switch, not using analog triggers. Um, but if you can use the Pro Controller with Switch 2 games, then that kind of suggests that it's still going to be digital triggers, which I don't really understand why. You can have analog triggers and still have a small form factor. I really don't know why Nintendo is being such a stick in the mud about this. Um, kind of annoying, but I don't know. Maybe that isn't what that means. Uh, who knows? So that's it. That's that's the rumor. Magnetic Joy-Cons on Switch 2. I am very glad that I have an outlet now for addressing individual rumors because I've always like really wanted to talk about them. But like, you know, you need something pretty darn substantial to make like a whole video on the main channel about it. But now I can just kind of whatever as they come. We'll, we'll just we'll talk about them, especially because if it's true that the system was delayed into next year, this is all we've got. <laughs> This is all we've got. This is all I've got. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. For, I'm just, I'm so excited. So you give me a tiny little rumor. I will look at it. I will look at it and I will think about it and I will talk about it because that that's, that's all I got. That's all we got. That's, that's, that's how I cope. That's how I cope with the waiting. If tomorrow there is a rumor about what font the UI is going to use, I'll be there. We'll talk about it. Rumor has it that a title from the Super Mario Brothers intellectual property will release within the first three years of launch. I'll be there. There will be, there will be a video about that. Okay, see you later. Bye.